Good morning everybody, Silas back again today. It is a chilly one out here today, it's just flat cold. It's warmed up a little bit now, but it's still about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that comes out to in Celsius, but it's cold, cold enough to make your fingers freeze. I went a little bit old school today. I'm filming on the GoPro again. I haven't used this to film an entire video in quite a while. I use it here and there to film other stuff, but I haven't recorded an entire video with this thing in forever. The reason why I'm using it though is because I can use the GoPro with gloves on. Uh, when I have my other camera out, I have to be able to touch the screen and adjust stuff. And when it's this cold, I don't feel like doing stuff without my gloves on. So, I got the GoPro out, so all you do is push buttons. And you can do that with gloves on, and your fingers don't have to freeze. Today's video is another junkyard treasure hunt. These are all cars that came from an impound sale. These were all abandoned cars. I don't know if there's anything in them or not, but we're about to dig through them and find out. I've got, I believe, nine of them. Nine or ten. I can't remember exactly. I've got these two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I've got that truck way over there behind the loader. So that's nine of them. So we're going to go through these, see if we can find some cool stuff, and I'm not sure what we'll find. There may not be anything good, but I know you guys like these, and I guess it's just the thrill of the hunt, even if you don't actually catch anything. Might as well start with this one. That door's locked. That door's locked. We'll walk around to the other side. I haven't even looked in these cars or nothing yet. So I don't even know if they're... There we go. Now one thing, I've had a lot of people comment in the past and they'll say, Oh, you didn't check this spot or you didn't check that spot. I probably did check those spots. The thing is, is if I don't find anything cool there, I'm not going to bother putting it in the video. You know what I'm saying? I know you notice I've already taken my gloves off. It's just, I don't like wearing gloves when I do this type of stuff. So I guess I'll let my fingers freeze. If I get too cold, I parked right there. I'll just jump in the truck and turn the heater on. Don't really see anything good in this one yet. Looks pretty cleaned out. There's nothing good in here. Like there, I checked underneath the floor mats and everything. There's nothing good. So I'm not gonna put the entire digging through this car in the video. Gotta grab the keys so I can check the trunk. I think I saw, yeah, there's keys in it. And then I gotta unlock one of these back doors so I can pop the back seat out. See if there's anything in it. There we go. Man, they really cleaned this car out. There is nothing at all. I'm not sure how the seat comes out. Probably have to put the camera down real quick. I folded it up. It was a two-handed job, but you can kind of see there it folds up. And there is nothing. Whoever had this car did not believe in change or something. I don't know. I couldn't even find one loose penny in there. What do we got here? Grand Prix? Grand Am. At least this one's unlocked. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, there we go. There's a dime. Oh, two dimes. Okay, now we're in the money. I was worried. And some miscellaneous trinkets. Let's see if there's a penny. Here's a dime. 31 cents, I believe, so far. Nope, nothing there. Nope. Nothing underneath the driver's floor mat. Looks like nothing good in the glove box. If I can get back out of here, I'm gonna have to do a headstand to look underneath the seat. Let's see if there's anything under there. It's kind of dark. I'm gonna have to get my flashlight out. I went ahead and grabbed all those trinkets out of the center console. I figured those are good in a jar. Looks like a necklace. Just some other trinkets, and for those that don't understand the context of the jar, what I want to do, I've mentioned this before, but once I find enough treasure out of these cars, I'm just going to start putting miscellaneous things in glass jars, and probably selling those or giving them away and giveaways and stuff like that, that way you can have your own jar of junkyard treasure. Some people probably think that's dumb, other people might think that's kind of cool though. I'm not entirely sure what I was thinking putting these cars so close together. It's kind of a pain to get in here. I should have really spread these apart. I mean, I've got 20 acres out here. <laughs> it's not like I needed the space. But it is what it is. I don't feel like getting the loader going. Let's see if we can squeeze back here. I looked under the seats. I didn't find anything under there. Oh, I see a penny down here. There we go. Oh, here's another penny. I do have to be careful with all this paperwork. I can't show people's addresses and that sort of stuff. So there may be times that I have to cut certain things out and there'll be a blank spot. Nothing under the floor mats. Let's check the rear cup holder. Nothing there. Does that get out of the way? 
Yeah, I don't really see much else in this car. I'll grab the keys out of it here in a second. We'll check the trunk and the back seat. Let's grab the keys out. Oh, it's got a good battery in it. It fired right up. Doesn't sound too healthy, but it runs. That's crazy. 133,000 miles. It's kind of low miles for a car this old. But it's pretty ragged out, just a crusher. Alright, I got the seat popped loose. Let's see what sort of treasures are underneath it. Looks like absolutely nothing. Ooh. There's an envelope. It might have something in it. Nope. Nothing good. Just a note that says, I love you, Grandma and Grandpa. Let's see if there's anything under here. Check underneath this foam stuff. Nope. Back there in that corner. Nope, nothing in the back seat. You know, it's getting more and more rare to find change in these cars. Just because nobody carries cash or change anymore. I still do, but it's just the nature of the business I'm in. But a lot of people do everything on plastic. And a lot of people don't even carry plastic anymore. Just use Apple Pay or that sort of stuff. Let's see if there's anything in this trunk. There we go, we got a Sharpie. And a pencil. As you guys know, I save all my pens and Sharpies and that sort of stuff. I don't know why, but when you're digging for treasure in junkyard cars, you can't be too picky on what you consider treasure. <laughs> it's not like we find crazy stuff all the time in here. Just a spare tire, nothing else good in here. We've got this row of cars here. I guess we'll start down here with the Beamer. Work our way back to the end. See if we can find something good in the BMW. This is the car that's got the million dollars in it. The place that we got these cars from is also kind of like a, a mechanic shop and that sort of stuff as well. And so they have a lot of used tires that come in and they asked if they could show some tires in some of the cars. And I said, yeah. So a few of these cars are gonna be full of tires. Not a big deal, we'll just have to throw them out on the ground and pick them up later. They went way overboard on stuffing tires in this one, which I guess is okay because a lot of them are empty. I noticed this one right here is full of tires as well, so looks like they just stuffed all the tires in two of them and left the rest of them empty. What do we got here? Got a Montreal CD player. It's even got the remote with it. And the BMW phone. Nope, they didn't write down any phone numbers on it. Antiquated technology right there. Boy, back in the day though, somebody was hot stuff. Driving this car, we look at this now and we just think this is 80s tackiness, but back in the day, look at that. How this hangs down. <laughs> Crazy stuff. You even got the owner's manual for the CD player in it. I don't save those. CD players are one of those things they're starting to get pretty old too. Back in the day, Every CD player you got would be 30, 40 bucks, but not anymore. It's kind of funny how back in the day you could order a car with just a plain Jane radio that didn't have an eight track or a cassette or nothing like that. It was just a radio. That's all it was. And that was considered the base model. But now that's what cars come with is just a radio and you connect through Bluetooth or Android auto or Apple CarPlay, that sort of stuff. Not really finding anything good in this car. Oh, I heard something clean. What in the world is this? I have no clue what that would be for. It goes up into the dash. I don't know. If you guys have any idea what in the world this would be for, let me know in the comments. But anyway, looks like you got some money. What do we got here? We got two nickels, three, three nickels? Let's see. Yeah, three nickels, a dime, and a penny. There we go. Twenty-six cents out of this one. I think we got thirty-one or thirty-two, something like that, out of the last one. So, getting close to a dollar. I don't know how much money we'll find today. Hopefully, we can find ten or fifteen dollars when it's all said or done. Nothing good in the back seat. Let's see here. Get this to pop. Now this is gonna be a two-hander. There we go. Got it open. What do we got in here? Ten W thirty. 
power steering fluid. We'll save those, they're both full, I think. What else we got? Mystery liquid. Don't really see anything else good in here. Let's see what's in this box. Air filter. Oh, there we go. There's a screwdriver. I'll save that. Just a Walmart. But, oh, and it's been broken off on the tip. So, never mind. Good place for it. On to the Ultima. Let's see if we can find something good in this one. Once again, this one's packed clear full of tires. Check in the door. Nope, nothing good in there. Just some paperwork and receipts and straw wrappers. There's some of these tires out of here. Well, I see trash laying around on the floor, so maybe we'll find some change. This is going to be a two-handed job here, though. I noticed right away there's two pennies down here. Get those out of there. Find them. There we go. There might be some more. It looks like I can see a quarter back there in the back seat, so I think we're at a dollar or close to it now. Let's check over here in the door pocket. Oh, we got a what is this? A knife? Yep. We got a broken knife. A railroad spike. That's a random thing to find in a car. You can't see it on the camera, but I can see what's in here, so I'm not just reaching blind. Hope oh, there's a penny. There's some more sharpies. Grab all those. Nope, nothing good there. We got a pen and a key with a little Nissan fob on it. It's on the back, Conklin cars. That pen's pretty grody. We're gonna leave it behind. This pen's pretty clean, we'll save it. Scissors, don't need those. Don't really see anything else good in there. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it looks like a whole bunch of money and some keys. That sort of stuff. Looks like a two-handed job to get it all out of there, though. Got a little bit out of there. A few pennies and a quarter. There's a dime and a couple more pennies in there, but there's some lollipops that melted right on top of them. And so I think those are permanent fixtures in this car now. This got a Bose sound system in it. My first car when I got out of high school was an 05 Nissan Altima. That was a pretty new car at the time. It was only, I think, four years old. And it was the... The sports edition had the 3.5 in it and the sunroof and the spoiler and all that stuff. I wasn't used to driving a car that hot. I know that's not really a hot car, but it was, you'd step on the gas pedal compared to what I had driven before and you'd step on the gas pedal and you'd roast the tires on it without even trying. Before I forget though, I'm going to go ahead and grab this quarter back here. Don't want to leave that behind. Oh, there's a pin too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we already checked there. Oh, there's a dime, and a penny, and a pencil. Put those down. There we go. There we go. There's some money. Dime and two pennies. I mean a nickel and two pennies. It's too cold for my brain to work right. On to the next one. I'm not sure what this is. This is a... Oh, a rendezvous. Buick rendezvous. Two pennies. We're already in the money. There we go. Only thing I found in the center console was this just random lonely pin. Nothing down there. Oh, yep, there's something. What is that? Penny? Penny. See if there's anything in the glove box. Oh, there's some pins. It's like two, three, four, five pins. There we go. We're done with that one. Now we're going to move on to the Equinox. What's that say? Sport. Huh. Don't think I've gotten a sport Equinox before. Let's see what's in it. Hey, more tires. There you go. Just what I always wanted. There's kind of a neat key. MK. Minute key. Hmm. I'll have to get that off there. Even if I can't get the key out, I'll take those off there. Let's see what's down here. Anything good? Nothing good under there. Looks like there might be some good stuff in here. I'm not sure. Can't tell exactly what's in there. What is this? It charges. I'm not sure. 
Which way does it open? This way? Oh, pair of earbuds. Huh. Curdeen? Never heard of them before. I don't know if those are worth anything or not, but we'll save them. I guess we'll find out. Let's see what else is in here. Looks like you got a pen. Oh, it's just a fuel card. I thought maybe it was a gift card, but it's not. Looks like we got some goodies in here. Little notebook. Not sure if there's anything in that or not. You never know. Sometimes people tuck money in random spots. There we go. Got it open. Nope. It's empty. Oh. I don't want to show the number on that, but it looks like we found a gift card. $25 gift card. I'm not sure if there's anything on it. We'll have to look that up here in a minute. Hopefully there's something on it at least. I found his actual debit card in there. So I'll leave that in there though. I'm not going to take that. Found a couple more pins and a lighter. The lighter doesn't work, so we threw it back in the car. I'll check the back seat. Well, it looks like some stuff. I don't know if there's any good stuff, but there's some stuff. Anything here? We found a brush. A glitter brush for my long flowing hair. And there's some stuff in there. Looks like just trash. Yeah, nothing good, just trash. Nothing good in the back, but here's another little pocket up here. I can see some money in there. And some Chick fil A sauce. Yeah, we got some. Can't tell what all's in there. It's got two pins and looks like a quarter and some pennies. Next up on the list, we're getting close to done. We got a 40th anniversary Mustang. Those are pretty cool emblems on these. I kind of like those. Before I crush this car, I'll pull those off. Passenger door is locked. Let's go around to the driver's side. There we go. Let's see if there's anything good. There's something laying on the seat. Noise cancellation. What is it? Whoops, dropped it. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm guessing some sort of Bluetooth something or other. I don't really know. I'm sure someone's going to get in the comments now. They're going to be like, how do you not know what that is? You're so stupid. Every time I have a video like this and I find something, I don't know what it is. That's what I get. <laughs> that's okay. If you want to comment in the comments and say that, it helps the algorithm. So I don't really care what you have to say. There was nothing under the seats of this one, but I got the key out. We're going to open the trunk, see if there's anything in here. If it'll stay open. Well, that's kind of neat. It's pretty rough. Must have had the tire sitting on top of it. Two left, just this one and that truck over there. The truck is pretty well stripped out. I noticed when it came in, there's no motor, no tranny, so I doubt there's anything in it. That's kind of why I'm saving it till last. Let's see if there's anything in this car. Oh my, clear full of trash. So what do we got in here? Got some sort of little pendant. That'll look good in a jar. A keychain. Oh, three pennies. One, two, three. What in the world? That fell off the visor. I don't know what's in it. What is that? Oh, an angel holding the world? I don't know. I'm dumping stuff out of my pockets. That's one complaint I have about Carhartt coats, is the pockets on these things are so shallow that anything you put in there is prone to fall out. I lost my keys one time when we were loading a car that we were picking up in someone's driveway. And luckily, they weren't home and nobody was home that day. And so I was able to come back about four hours later and they were still laying there on the driveway. See if there's anything in here. What in the world? Oh, <laughs> I saw a glove and I went to pick it up and it was heavy, but it's just gloves that you wear for strength training when you're jogging. You put those on so they're weighted. At least that's what I think they are anyway. Oh, checkbook. There's a blast from the past. The old cassette player. With the plug in, so you can plug in your phone or your iPod or something like that. I remember having to have one of those in one of my vehicles. I had to flip the floor mat over on top of everything, which was clear full of papers that had their address on it, and their name and address, and all that. 
can't show all that, but there was just a whole bunch of checks down here. And I don't know if they cashed them or not, but I mean, they weren't big checks. They were $40 here, $60 there. There's probably about $300 worth of checks down here on the floor. But I did find a dime. I'm hoping they did cash those checks and the cash is in here somewhere. Okay, this once again is clear full of stuff. You can kind of see there the very corner of it is another check. So I don't know, maybe there's a wallet full of money in here. I'm going to have to be careful going through this though. What I'll probably do first is go through and pull everything out that has an address on it and then I can dig through the rest of it with you guys. Yeah, I ended up finding about another $300 worth of checks in here. And they, most of those were signed on the back, so I'm guessing they did cash those. I found a debit card in here too, so evidently they don't care about money too much. This is just clear full of pens. What's this? Oh, like a lanyard deal. To hang a lanyard on, I don't know, it'll look good in a jar. There go. There's a quarter. You'll have to go through these pens, and the ones that are halfway clean and decent, I'll save for my junkyard jars. Then the rest of them I'll leave in here. I won't bore you guys with all that though. We got a Lego dude with something in his hand. I don't know what that is exactly, but it looks like something from Road Warrior or something. He's got chains and weapons all over him. <laughs> I don't know. What do we got here? Oh, more earbuds. Cool. I don't think there's anything in there though. It's light. So we can get it opened up here. Okay, I had to use both hands to unzip it. It wasn't a one-handed deal. I'm pretty sure the AirPods are gone. <laughs> well, not AirPods, uh, earbuds. You can tell I'm an Apple person. I know a lot of you guys will give me grief for that one, but most of my stuff I have is Apple. But I got it unzipped. Let's open it up. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's way better than earbuds. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? No way. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> like, I'm speechless. Is that serious? Is this one of those fake ones that says made in China or something like that? Because I've got a couple of those already. Uh, series 2013, has it got the strip in it? It does. That is real, guys. That is real. Wow. Nice. That's like the most I've ever found in a car. That is insane. <laughs> that is so cool. Like when I first found this, I was all excited for about half a second. And then I'm like, that's unreal that I found this. And then I'm like, no, that's got to be one of those fake ones that has Chinese writing on it. Like a joke, like America's owned by China or whatever. Because I've got some of those already. Or I thought maybe it was play money that says whatever is fake or whatever on it. But that is 100% legit. That is, one, well, it's 100 legit. <laughs> That is awesome. There we go. I'm going to eat good tonight. That is so cool. And it was just wadded up in here. Like when I first picked this up, and I when it was zipped up still and I shook it, I could tell there was nothing in it. I'm like, well, whatever ear, ear pods were in this are long gone. And so I opened it up, and it's just tucked in here inside this little deal right here. I mean, I guess that's an interesting place to put stuff, and they had it in here with all this stuff. And they had all those checks in here. I thought for sure I was going to find like 5 or 10 or 20 bucks in here because of all those checks they had cashed. But no, seriously, 100 bucks? That must have been like their emergency stash. I do the same thing. I don't keep 100 bucks in my truck, but I keep like 40 bucks stashed in my truck in a, a secret spot. That way in case there's ever an emergency and I need, need to get something real quick, I have 40 bucks and that should be enough to get whatever I need. But that is crazy. I don't know if there's any more in here or not. Now I'm going to spend the next hour going through this car. Okay, I have dug and dug and dug through this thing now. And I have not found anything else good in here. Not even another penny. But I found that, so it's all good. That is too cool. I'm going to save the case too, just so I can show people what I found it in. I'm pretty stoked now. That is so exciting, guys. I have never found that much actual cash in a car. Now I found stuff that's worth more than a hundred dollars in cars many times. I've found things that are worth hundreds of dollars, many hundreds of dollars in cars before, but actual cash, cold hard cash, I've never found a hundred dollar bill before. Grab the keys while we're here. But that is just so cool. Let's see. I haven't even checked the ashtray. Oh, there's cards in there and I heard money rattle. Let me make sure there's no personal information on them real quick. I haven't even finished going through it yet. I still know there's something underneath that black deal because I can hear the money rattling around. But I found four Walmart gift cards. 
I'm hoping there's money on these too. I haven't checked that Visa card yet either, but that's five gift cards we found now. That'd be crazy if there's money on all of these too. I can't show you guys the numbers. That would have been dumb. I almost flipped them over. <laughs> okay, there's a looks like a checkbook deal in here. But you guys can kind of hear that. I don't know how it sounds on the camera, but there's money in there, but I don't know. Is it going to be pennies? Is it going to be nickels, dimes, quarters, or is it going to be a mix of everything? I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh, nuts! More cash. How much is here? Five, ten, just ten bucks, but still, man, ten dollars cash. What do we got? In? Oh, man, we got a mix. Looks like, oh, no quarters, just dimes, nickels, and pennies, but seriously, ten more dollars. That's a hundred and ten dollars plus whatever changes in here. That is so cool. So cool. What do we got here? A palm tree from Las Vegas? Maybe they like to gamble. They weren't very good with money, that's for sure. They left this car clear full. I found about 40, I think it was 43 or 44 cents in there. So not a lot of money, but still. We found $110 here, plus whatever's on these gift cards. Now they're probably empty, but I say that, and I wasn't expecting to find that either. So there could be money on those two. I'm excited to look those up. I crawled under the front seats, and shockingly, there was nothing under there. Just more trash. I thought for sure I'd find some money or something, at least some pennies, but nothing. We're going to check into the back seat. Somebody's already ripped this one out, probably because the battery's back here. So I'm guessing if there was anything good laying down here, it's long gone. Oh, there's a penny. You know, 20 minutes ago, finding a penny or two would have been exciting, but just not quite the same. Oh, here's something. I found two pennies. Anything under that one? Nope. Nothing under that seat belt. So, two pennies. It all adds up though. What do we got in the trunk? Looks like they kept the trunk pretty cleaned out. Might be something here, I'll just some bit plastic or bags or something, but there we go. Some shop towels, I always use those, so that's actually a pretty cool find there. And last but not least, I don't know if there's anything in this one or not. Open this door up and we'll find out here in a minute. Like I said, I doubt there's anything in this truck. It's been pretty well stripped out. Whole front end's missing off of it. Motor and tranny are gone. But we'll check it just in case. See if there's anything in here. No, there's nothing in there. Caught up here, I don't see anything good at all. We'll check the back of the truck real quick, see if there's anything in there, but I think they clean out their shop, so it's just scrap. So my GoPro died, I had to run home and put it on the charger, that way I could charge it, then come back out here so I can show you everything I found today. While I was home waiting for it to charge, I looked up those gift cards, and unfortunately the Visa and two of the Walmart cards were empty with a zero balance. Uh, one of the Walmart gift cards has a $3 balance, and the other one has a $0.52 cent balance. So, I didn't get rich there. That's okay, $3.52 is better than nothing. And here's my total collection of everything all gathered up. We'll kind of go through and I'll show you everything I found. Found a bunch of keys here. Most of these are just random car keys. I do kind of like that one there, the little minute key. That's kind of unusual and neat. I got this here. I still didn't bother to look that up and see what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Got the oil, power steering fluid. I use those all the time because I drive old junk. We got the 52 cent card. We got the $3 card. Got a nice little collection of Sharpies and pens and pencils. We've got the knife. We've got the jewelry. We've got the just trinkets. We've got three empty gift cards. I'm going to pitch those back in a car. We've got $3.30 worth of change here. And I did notice as I was going through it here, this is a 1957 wheat penny. So that's pretty cool. I'll throw that in my coin collection. We've got this little assortment of trinkets and golf balls here. We've got the chop towels. We've got the earbuds right here. These curtains, I looked these up. These are only like $27 brand new. So they're not really worth anything, but once again, I'll throw them in a jar. We've got this case here, and what was in this case, of course, was the $100 bill, and then we've got the two fives. That's by far the best find of the day. Obviously, it goes without saying. So that was pretty cool, that car there. I think we paid $230 for that car, so I'd say we did okay on it. So all together, that comes out to, I believe, $116.82, if I did my math correctly counting the gift cards, the cash, and the change. 
So that's not too bad. That's more than I've ever found before as far as just pure cash. And then when you add in the value of this other stuff, there's not a whole lot of value there, but you're looking at maybe 150 bucks value for everything here. So it wasn't like a total knockout, found a million dollars worth of stuff day, but we did find a few cool things. You guys have seen some of my previous treasure hunt videos. I'll have tons of stuff that'll fill this whole tailgate clear full of stuff. So we didn't find a whole lot of stuff, but you gotta remember, I only looked in 10 cars today. That was it. No, actually, was it 10 or nine? I can't even remember now. Whatever I said earlier, that's how many it was. I'm still dreaming of the day that I find something really, really cool in these cars, but today just wasn't that day. Didn't really find much jewelry today either. Just found that one necklace and it's just a regular old pop metal necklace. It's not any precious metal at all. One of these days I'm gonna find something really cool though that's worth a lot of money or I'm gonna find a lot of money. I'm gonna keep digging. I haven't done it yet, but one of these days. You just never know what you're gonna find in these things, but one of these days, just, just once, I'd be happy with one time in my life to open up a car and find a billfold with a whole bunch of money in it or find a suitcase or find a, a wad of hundreds or something like that stash. But I'm not complaining. I am thrilled to death that I found $100 today. That is just unreal, that is, that is cool. You know, 90% of the cars I look in, I might find a penny. Like the very, I think it was, was it the very first car we looked in? I think so, it was just completely empty. There was absolutely nothing. And that's what most cars have is absolutely nothing, but maybe some trash. Usually these type of videos do a little bit better than my other videos. So I just wanna throw this out there. If you're new to my channel and you don't watch my stuff all the time, this isn't all that I do. I do some of this. I do a lot of stuff with old cars like that one back there behind me. I go out and explore old farms, old buildings. I've got some new stuff coming this way this spring. Got some really cool ideas I want to try, some just different stuff. I don't do just one thing. So if you watch one of my videos and I'm doing something that you don't like, just check back later because I'll probably post a video that you do like. I'm not one of those people that just does the same thing over and over again. I get bored with that and I have this channel just for fun. So if I'm not having fun, I'm not going to record it. So you just never know what I'm going to record next. If you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment, say what your favorite find was. I'm sure most people think their favorite find was the $100. But maybe not, you never know. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for all the support that have subscribed to my channel already. Keep checking back, you never know what's coming next. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.